Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, today we are going to do some more absolutely fabulous crafting for Valentine's Day. Stay tuned. <music> what we're going to be making today guys. This is so stinking cute. I absolutely love it and I think that this is actually going to be one of the gifts that I give for Valentine's Day this year and I'm going to just open it up and show you guys what it is and how stinking cute it is. It's a book box but it's a different kind of book box. It's a candy book box and when we open the top we have our candies on the inside. I'm not sure if you can see those but they just slide out and I put a whole bunch of little hearts in here, the ones that I haven't eaten yet and I actually need to get some more. But this is just such a fun little project. It's very quick and it's one of those that you can make up bunches for and give to various people because this is handheld. So you can just hand it off to anyone that you want to give a Valentine's treat to. So y'all know what time it is. It is time to make it. Okay guys, so here's what we're going to need to make today's project. We are going to need some chipboard pieces and I have a piece that measures three and a half by one and three quarters. We'll be using this for the template so that we can cut out our opening. Then we have two pieces of chipboard that measure four and one eighth by five and three eighths. I have a piece of decorative cardstock that measures four and seven eighths by nine and three eighths. I have another piece of decorative cardstock that measures 11 and 3 quarters by 7. And then I have the piece for the box, which measures 7 and 3 quarters by 10 and 3 quarters. And then I have a piece of acetate, and this acetate measures 4 and 1 half by 3 and 1 half. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make the box. So on the 7 and 3 quarter inch side, we are going to score at half an inch. at one and a half, and then we'll score at six and three quarters. Then we're going to rotate it to the 10 and three quarter inch side, and we're going to score at four, at five, at nine, and at 10. And then we're going to fold and burnish all of our scores. with that folding and that burnishing. All right guys, so on the side where you have your one inch panel and then you have that smaller panel next to it, in the corner we are going to have a rectangle and then a small rectangle and then in the opposite corner another rectangle. We need to go ahead and remove those. So I am just going to cut them out. I'll turn this this way and I'll go up to that second score mark and drag straight down. And then I'll remove this piece. So this will be our glue flap and the back of our box. So now I'm just going to come in, go to all of my score marks and I'm going to angle these just a little bit because it'll make putting the box together a little easier. So in between all of your score marks, just do an angle. And this is the bottom of your box. And then we'll come to this side and we're going to go up to the second score mark and drag straight down. So wherever you have a score mark, go up to the second one and drag straight down the middle to release those tabs. So now that we have this, this is the back of our box. So I'm just going to fold this backwards 
and fold these outer flaps outward. And now we'll have this. So we'll take this flap and we're just going to fold it inside of our box. But I am going to just reduce this a little bit just to make sure that it does not hit my score marks. Now I'm just going to take a couple of strips of tape because it happens to be what's right next to my hand. You can glue this, you can use your tape runner, whichever one you want to do. And then I'll lift my tape. We'll fold this over and we'll get it stuck. So now that we have that piece folded in, we need to go ahead, reduce these two pieces in size, and then I'll angle on my cut. And then I'll take my scissors and I am just going to round this piece because it'll make closing the box just a little easier. So now that we have our box like this, before we put it together, if you want an opening, you can cut your opening bigger than the one that I'm cutting, but I have my piece that measures three and a half by one and three quarters. That is my template piece. And I am just going to place some glue down on the back so that we can hold this in place. And then I'll put it down wherever I want that opening. And if you have a die cutting system, you can run this through your die cutter. This process that I'm showing here is for anyone who currently does not have a die cutting system or you don't feel like pulling out the machine. This is just a very quick way to get that opening. So then I'll take my finger blade and I'm just going to cut around that opening And then once my cut is complete, I can pop that piece out. I'll take my acetate piece, which measures four and a half by three and a half, and we're going to place that on the inside just like that. So I am going to take my glue, run a nice wide bead of glue. You can use tape on this as well. and then we'll put this down. So I'm going to take this piece, place it over my opening, and I'll use my bone folder. And what I'm doing is I'm just pushing that glue so that it sticks, but I'm pushing it away from the opening so that I don't get any glue on the opening. And you can see just how pretty that is. So now we're going to put our box together. We'll take our glue flap and place our glue and then we'll close this box. So I'll take this and I'm going to match it with this end and I'm making sure that my score marks match. Then I can just go over this and y'all can see that I have a nice little flat fold box. And yes, you can also see that the inside is upside down, but y'all know that I'm not worried about that. So we're going to take our side pieces, fold those in. I'll take my glue, bring in that back piece, place my glue on the back piece. Before I get it completely sealed, I am going to close this box just to make sure that I have everything nice and squared. And so now we have our sweet little box and now we'll make the jacket portion of this. And so I'll bring in my piece that measures 10 and three quarters by seven and I'll bring in my piece that measures nine and three eighths by four and seven eighths and this piece is my liner piece. And I will actually be making scores on this piece just so that I can stay pretty accurate in my spacing because I'm not using a chipboard spine on this. So my first score needs to be at one. My second score needs to be at five and a quarter. My third score needs to be at six and a half. 
My last score needs to be at 10 and 3 quarters. Then I'm going to rotate it to the 7 inch end and we are going to score at 3 quarters of an inch. Rotate it to the opposite 7 inch end and score at 3 quarters of an inch. So those scores again on the 11 inch side, we're scoring at 1, 5 and a quarter, 6 and a half, and 10 and 3 quarters. Then we're rotating it to the 7 inch side and we're scoring at 3 quarters of an inch. Rotate it to the opposite 7 and score at 3 quarters of an inch. Okay, so let's go ahead and fold and burnish all of our scores. And then we'll be ready to put this together. Okay, so all we need to do on this is we need to just go in and miter our ends. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to take my finger blade and you can see that I have an intersecting X here. I am going to cut straight through that X from one end to the other. And I'll do this on all four sides. So I'm trying to make sure that I see that X. Okay, and so once we have this cut, we are going to take our two chipboard pieces that measure four and one eighth by five and three eighths, and we're going to place them inside of the score marks. We're not going to place them on the score marks. We need to place them on the inside. And I have added double stick tape to the back. So I'll take one piece making sure that I get it inside of that score mark, not hitting the score. And then I'll take my second piece and we'll place that second piece on the other side. And like I said, I'm not doing a chipboard spine on this. So now I'm going to take this piece and I want to make sure that I have it matched with that piece at the top. So I'm going to bring it to my face just a little bit so that I can try to get this even. And then I'll place it down. So now I'll take my glue and I'm just going to place my glue on my fold over flaps. And we'll get these nice and stuck. And make sure you go inside and get that spine area stuck. And let's just fold that over. Make sure you get in that spine. Get that nice and stuck. And now we have a cute little outside to our book. I am going to take this piece because I want the inside to be the same. And I have tape all over this. So we're just going to take it and place it down just like that. And let's get it stuck. Make sure you get that spine nice and stuck. And so now that we have our spine nice and stuck, I am going to open the inside, and yes, I did place my hearts in upside down. 
but I am going to take my glue, place my glue on the back of my box, make sure that I've got the top of the box where it needs to be, and then I can just slide this in where I want it, and then I'll open it just to make sure I have it where I want it. And now guys, we have a really gorgeous box that we can put our sweets in for our sweetie. So I am going to bring in my sticker sheet and I'm just going to add a few stickers. That will just help to cuten this up just a little bit. And then I'm going to take this little paper doily here, place it right there And then I'll take this little kiss and place it right there. How sweet is that? And then I think I'm just going to take a sticker, place it on the front. And guys, I almost placed that sticker on upside down. Sometimes I have days like that where everything is just upside down. And so now we have our beautiful box, guys. So I'm going to take just a beautiful red ribbon Wrap it around. Tie myself a sweet little bow. And this makes a really sweet little Valentine's gift. How stinking cute is that? And it's just a little book where we've actually placed a box on the inside. And this makes such an awesome little gift. All right, y'all, here's our finished project, and I think it is absolutely adorable. You saw how easy it was to make. Yes, you can do this, you absolutely can, and you'll have loads of fun doing it. So I am going to take off this ribbon so that you can get a good look at the outside, and I just added a sticker, a Lovebird sticker. And then when you open up the inside, y'all, I have my trademark upside down paper. Then I have this beautiful, beautiful box that will hold all types of goodies for your suite. And then on the opposite end, you could actually add a pocket and place a card on this to make it a complete all-in-one. And you can make this become so many different things. I made this for Valentine's Day, but remember, any season, any reason, any gender. So I am going to bring in the first one that I made so that y'all can get a look at these awesome Valentine cuties. So guys, I hope that you have liked this project. And if you have, please hit the like button. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, there's still time. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you will know when I upload a new video. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.